Kumar, you're through to IV, agent ID 5379. How may I assist you today? Yes, I, uh, Metro PCS has defrauded me out of funds and forced me to speak with scammers um, that also have defrauded me out of funds. I can't use my hotspot, and I wanted to know who to report the crimes that are you, you guys enforce on your network and why they call the police out to enforce their hack, where a network gets hacked, putting their other customers at risk. Because if I am forced to speak with scammers, if they allow government officials that happen to have access to scammers hack their network, that jeopardizes other customers as well as myself. I've already been defrauded out of funds. Right. And I really do apologize for the uh, experience that you have been having. Is it okay with you to access your account and we can um, go ahead and give you the corporate number? Okay. 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 So let me make sure I understand. So you, they told me to call 611. I wanted a resolution on the hotspot I'm not able to use. And you're forwarding me, forwarding me over to corporate? I'm not putting you over to corporate. I'm going to give you the direct line so that you can give them a call, okay? Okay, so let me make sure I understand. So they told me in the store to speak with 611 to get down a resolution uh -huh. to the hotspot. And I've been told to call this number for years to get nothing resolved. Now you're forwarding me over to corporate. You're depriving me of services to fix the issue with my network and figure out what's going on with the hotspot. Why would my provider rob me out of hotspot out of my hotspot, lie and slander and enforce crimes on their own their own network. So I'm just checking up on. I was just even checking up on your hotspot, and I can see on both of the lines you haven't been using the hotspot, right? I'm sorry, you said what? Um, I can. I was just checking up on your hotspot on both of the lines on this account, and I can see you haven't been using the hotspot. That is correct. I can't, and people can't get their story straight regarding the hotspot to enforce that I that I don't use it. That is correct. So I cannot use the hotspot. Right. So can you just allow me to place you on a brief? Well, let me escalate this to my. Well, we were right. deflecting again, as you guys have done for years. Someone is committing a crime and hacking your phone network that happens to have access to scammers. That, and they force me to speak with these scammers begging for my life that have defrauded me out of funds. I think that's a bit extreme that you guys have ignored for years, as well as all my other mo mobile providers. I can't get my calls. And I can't place calls all over. They hang up in my face when I'm calling certain locations. It does not go through. I don't get my calls. I call myself before they um, started trying to control it and do it, do better. I call my own phone unexpectedly. My phone did not ring, did not go to the voicemail or register a missed call when I had another provider. So I knew because it was, I, I get calls. People call me. I call people. I check on people. And they did so with me as well. My phone just stopped ringing. And they would tell me, people would say, I called you, you wouldn't answer. And I said, I didn't get your call. Then they started doing better. I reported it to the police, but they covered for it. The police told me himself that he called. I said, sir, you can come look at my phone. I don't have a missed call from you. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm reporting it. Come look. And then he covered for it. I think I was in Longview. Stay at a hotel stay, trying to have access to my daughter in 20. Um, November of 2018. But ma'am, we don't have a lot of resolutions. Have you ever heard of anyone with a story like this? Um, yeah, sometimes it happens that um, the network issue, there's a network issue with your device or the network in your tower, but I can just check it out right now. I'm not, I'm not being heard, ma'am. Someone's hacking your network. I'm communicating that. And I wasn't getting my calls out of criminal activity. Are you covering for it? I'm not covering for it. I'm okay, just, so what are the resolutions? Because I haven't had one for years, man. What's the resolution? Because I don't need to continue to get defrauded out of funds from Metro. That's a crime and a lawsuit. To enforce that I stay in jeopardy and beg for my life calling all these scammers that have defrauded me out of funds. That makes you guys conspirators. 
in theft. You have defrauded me out of funds, forcing me to speak with counterfeits and of being conspirators and them robbing me of funds. This is a crime. So will it be okay with you if I just um, go ahead and escalate this to my tech team and also my manager? Okay, um, you've like done it for years, ma'am, and I still haven't had a resolution, but what's the corporate number? And then we can go from there. So the corporate number is 844-375-8107. Okay. Okay. And what were you going to so do? You... So I'm going to speak to my manager right now and also my uh, technical team for us to be able to... Well, I think what's in tonight. order, ma'am, if a crime is happening on your network, you guys should get law enforcement involved. If I've been defrauded out of funds, in some kind of way, the police come interrupt and enforce the crime, ma'am. You're putting your other customers as risk, at risk as you've done for years, ma'am, and consistently defraud me out of funds yearly with no consequences, ma'am. So I should not be forced and deprived of services and my a provider enforces crimes on their own network. That's insane, ma'am. Forcing me to stay in jeopardy as I have been in jeopardy for years. It's sick and criminal. So let's see what solutions we can get, ma'am, because if when I go in person, the police just come and commit crimes and give me criminal trespasses, and even multiple times a day, they got away, were so corrupt in the past when I went recording, they gave me three criminal trespasses in, at AT&T, and then that would not, I couldn't even get services again, period. On a phone bill, I paid out of corruption two times that one month and couldn't get a refund for it. That's how out of control they were in the past. They just would not give me the services, period. Okay, and I really do understand where you're coming from. I understand That's a lot of people use that as an alibi that they don't understand, so that way that they can continue to enforce crimes. I don't know how many times I said crimes, 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 crimes with your network crimes. I don't understand why you would not understand that, as no one has understood for years. Therefore, enforcing the criminal activity that puts other customers at risk. That could be why identity theft is such on a, a, a rise, because multiple parties cover for it and enforce it. And then they don't understand for years. I don't think corrupt government officials that have scammers in their pocket need to be enforcing crimes on providers' networks. What is a resolution for ma'am? Because I haven't had resolutions for years. That's why I keep getting defrauded out of funds. The government controls jobs and every avenue I have to escape their abuse. So I would like to have full access to the my uh, phone service, what I'm paying for, and not allowing me to do so would be defrauding me out of funds like you have got, uh, got away with for years. It is a crime to do what you guys have been doing and consistently get away with it. So they can't get their story straight of the hot spot. That when I go in, the government don't like me having the hot spot for their comfort level, but it should not be their choice. Okay, so can you just allow me to escalate this issue? I'll be right with you, okay? Sure, sure. Okay, so when I got out of jail on the false charges, I went up to try to get assistance from my family in November, and they were already controlled. So my son was starting an argument, my older son, and covering for the chaos when I was at a hotel stay. And that's when a lot of parties were saying that they called me and I didn't get their calls. So I eventually went over to my aunt's house that was highly abusive, that had gang stalkers living in her house, disrespecting her, and she was scared. I really didn't wasn't getting it, but she was scared these two couples. You that were drug addicts, and mind that mind wasn't like her behavior to allow this. Metro she went to church. Or with the my metro so, and, and I could tell, it. thinking back, that she was actually afraid of these people. So eventually the people took, ransacked her house, took all her paperwork, took her to a nursing home. She gave them money to pay the bill. 
because they what they did they scammed. Time to make your metro they told her someone set up a, a slander saying that she wasn't a fit to take care of herself and they were going to put her they were terrified of being placed in a nursing home so they said that if she didn't have someone stay with her that she would be forced to go to a nursing home so she was forced to have these drug addicts that were just gang stalkers in her environment because that's the only party that I was wrote that would give me assistance. Thank you for continuing to hold. Your so the gang stalkers came in and tried to control her and she's not an easy person to control. She's very headstrong. But she was terrified and terrorized. And eventually the gang stalker, she gave them money to pay a bill. They controlled her account. So and they she gave the elderly lady. So she gave them money to pay a bill, right the light bill. Life. They didn't pay it. The payment, then they the cut the lights off, forcing me to be in this environment in the cold with no electricity. If you don't already have the so they took her to a nursing home and said it was just going to be temporary till they got cut the lights back on. But she had already gave them money for the lights. Then they tried to give my money and then take my money for the lights. But if the, they, she paid them for lights and then they didn't um, pay the bill, why would I give them money? Are you calling? So they conned her out of money. This is not this is not something that would normally happen. They're good with their bills. So by the electricity being off all this time, that was abnormal for them. Nonetheless, they took her to a nursing home where she's still living in now, and she was terrified. She would keep in touch um, with a lot of people. A lot of people called her and checked on her. See, this is the thing. I don't know how it's done, but the, the people that he's able to control, the kind of people that we are, we have access to a multitude of parties. People called and checked on her. She was popular. I don't know how it can be done to isolate someone that has a lot of people around them. But it's done, and that's what happened. So all of a sudden, she stopped answering calls. And I told her, I said, why are you acting like that? All these people call and check on you and worry about you. Why are you not talking to them? And then they would actually come by and say, what is going on with you? You're scaring me. I witnessed it. So anyway, nonetheless, the gang stalkers took her over to the nursing home, and she has not been back to her own house since. And the sense that I guess that was a warning to everyone else. No one has helped. So let's see what con they have up. Check out all the self-service options available. This is how long the years. My account on Metro by These are scammers. They're not going to help as they have not used. Auto pay. Check your data usage. But this happens to be criminal. And more. So what provoked this call? Because I monetize all these videos individually, and then they go unmonetized. They shut off. So it's just a circle of chaos that I just can't seem to get out of. So I can't monetize all the videos at once, period. I spent all that time doing the AdSense, and then that disappeared. They can't make up their mind. Let, let me show you something. My phone disabled. Thanks for calling Assurance. Administrator of Metro by T-Mobile's Premium Handset Protection Program. Para Espanol, Marquetón. I thought she said she was getting someone on the line. Due to precautions we are taking to safeguard our employees and provide continuous support for our customers, you may experience a delay in speaking with an agent. To expedite your claim process, we encourage you to visit us online at mymetroclaim.com where you can file your claim, check the status of your existing claim. Putting in my cell phone number and they're saying that they can't find it. 469. Please say yes or press 1. Yes. Otherwise, say yes. no. Thanks. I'll connect you with the next available care When I record it, then they can try and try my purposes, phone number. Your call may be monitored or recorded. That's very rude for her not to put me through to a live person to Thank transfer so me back in the queue. Assurance. My name is Michelle. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? I'm sorry, what did I call? Um, my name is Michelle from an Assurance. May I please know Assurance? You What's Assurance? Yes. I've been transferred to representatives and games have been played as they have for years. What is this department? I don't know what I was transferred to. I've been I'm on so sorry for getting 21 confused. minutes. Uh, yeah, but would you like to be transferred to... My I just don't department? understand why you don't want me to know what I was transferred to. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Do you, can you tell me what I was transferred to, ma'am? What's your name? Michelle. Do you want me to know what you I was transferred to? 
What do you do there? Um, in this department, you're filing claims for physical damage on devices, loss or stolen devices, misses. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, in this department, you're filing claims for device, damaged devices, loss or stolen devices. Oh, ma'am, I've experienced this years the technical glitches glitches and the issues and you know I'm just hasn't been haven't been understood for years enforcing me the crimes on your network. Why would the operator all operators enforce the criminal activity on their network, which has defrauded me out of funds for years, ma'am? Why would the police come and interrupt me for reporting the crimes and get away with it years on your network? How, how does someone get that criminal and then have the ability to enforce crimes for years, ma'am? Thefts, just openly, with no consequences. Who do I speak with, ma'am? Because I haven't been able to find them for years. Everywhere I go. Okay, but, but would you like to be transferred to Apple Department or Metro Department, ma'am? I just told you what I was experiencing. You work there. You work there. You're not aware of where I need to call? So, miss, uh, some already told you this department just filing claims for... Okay, so let me make sure I understand. Are you with Metro? No, miss. So this is a shooter's department. Okay, so you have no affiliation with Metro PCS, who I just called? Yes, miss. But in this department just filing claims. Okay, so let me. This has happened years, ma'am. So you're telling me I have called Metro PCS asking for answers on how to get this situation uh, re resolved with being defrauded out of funds, forced to speak with scammers, and you have you you guys have no clue on how to resolve it as you have not years. I you are staff that work there, and you have no information on where to direct me to get this situation resolved as you have not years. Oh. Uh, do you think that maybe for customer service, do you think maybe for customer service, you should escalate and find out since this has okay, went on so years? Okay. Oh. So back in the queue, as they have done Para years. Español, That's not finding out. That's covering for crimes. I didn't get that. In just a few words, tell me what you're calling about. Calling from the phone that's having trouble. If so you are, please it's hang a up game because you have to repeat yourself over and over again. It's part of the harassment. And they would be rude, put me on hold and say an amount of time and then hang up. This call may be recorded for trade survey. They also do this at CPS. And domestic violence organization. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. Thank you for calling Macho by T Mobile. This is Agent Len, ID number 31394. How can I make you the awesome? Yes, can I? I've been transferred a lot and back and forth in the queue, not to get anything resolved for years, ma'am. Years. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I'll follow this for the What department is this? So what department is this, ma'am? What department? This is, yeah, this is customer service, ma'am. Okay, I got back okay, transferred back to the, uh, you're being rude, ma'am, like people have done years. I'm telling you why I called, and then you said, how can I help you? Like, I asked people, ask me my name, and then when I'm answering them, they say, what's your name? For years? When I'm answering their question, they ask me, they ask the same question that I'm answering. They interrupt me answering the question to ask the same question that I'm answering. It's odd, ma'am, for years. So I was telling you why I called, and then you interrupted me to ask me why I called? Are you able to pull up? You did it again, ma'am. Are you part? Are you sure this is Metro? Are you committing a crime? Yes, ma'am. I'm from Metro. I'm customer service, ma'am. And I'm, I am different from other uh, previous liberals I've seen, ma'am. I'm sorry? So, um... Yeah, so um, I'm a customer service mom, and I'm willing to assist you. So how can I assist you today? I have to keep repeating myself over and over for years? Oh, years. Oh, that's terrible, mom. I understand, mom, that mm -hmm, 
Yeah, so uh, and also for your for that convenience that you've been disconnected, you back to queue from other representative. You don't have to worry, mom. Since you got me on the line, I assure you that it won't happen again. So just give me at least one percent of your chat so I can assist you, okay? Okay. Um, so how can you assist me again? Okay, so I've been having problems with the network, crimes going on the network, and I can't get, a, I've been, the Metro has defrauded me out of funds, defrauded me out of my hotspot services. I call scammers that have defrauded me out of funds. They call the police to enforce the crimes on their own network, putting their own customers at risk, committing crimes. It's criminal. And it has went unaddressed for years. These scammers so prevent me from getting well, housed. So I'm, these scammers prevent me from getting housed. They lie, con, cover for all crimes that happen to me. Pretend to be attorneys. Keep control of my calls so I don't meet new people. I called my phone from another phone unexpectedly and it didn't ring. So they started to do better. Multiple parties said, I called you and you did not answer. And I was a police that said it. I said, well, come look at my phone. You can see there's no call, missed calls. I did not get your call. That's why I'm reporting it to you. He covered for it and did not, never came. Oh, you mentioned, ma'am, that you didn't get a call from us. Uh, that's the only thing you heard out of all the things that I stated? Of, out of all the extreme events oh, I stated, apologies. that was the only thing that you selected thing that you heard? No, uh, I heard that, you know. Um, you okay, so what are the resolutions, ma'am, to someone then... committing a crime, hacking your network, and multiple staff committing the crimes, conspirators and crimes that have defrauded me out of funds, that makes them the conspirators and theft and criminal activity, and calling the police to enforce crimes on your own network that put your other, other customers at risk? allowing corrupt government officials that have access to scammers in their pocket control their network? What are you going to do about it, ma'am? Because nothing has been done for years. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. All in for inconvenience, ma'am. And, you know, I assure you that we're going to look for an option to, um, so that, you know, we can all... Is there a crime going on on your so network, ma'am? Is there a particular number? reason why you refuse to import, um, investigate the crime and then uh, report it to authorities for years? How is it all of a sudden impossible? It just It can't be done for a network. It just cannot. For years, they cannot give you proper services. It just can't be done. You have to talk to the scammers that defraud you out of funds. You just have to. And if you get backed into a corner, we will call the police to enforce our crimes, as you have already done years. This is theft. Enforcing that I speak with scammers is criminal. Defrauding me out of a hot spot, and then you can't get your story straight regarding it? These are extreme events. All right, ma'am, yes, really, um, that's really not good to hear about, ma'am. And, you know, um, since you got me on the line, let us assure you that I'm going to properly assist with your concern. And can I have your mobile number so that I can pull up your account? Again, for years? Okay, I've already done this. Okay, I'll try again. So, so you have to do the pin again. I've already right done now. this. I've already done this, so we have to do the pin thing again? Yes. Um, okay, go ahead. Send me the pen. Go ahead and send me the pen, ma'am. I went through this year's. So go ahead. Successfully pull up your account. And thank you for being a loyal customer here in Matchup by T-Mobile. And that's highly appreciated. Okay, so um, like I've been checking here that you have um, two lines here in your account, right? And you mentioned that you are having a trouble with your network. Am I correct my understanding? Yeah, I'm reporting crimes. Crimes on the network. Extreme events that you guys have covered for for years and call the police out to enforce crimes on your network that has caused me to be defrauded out of funds. And have me speak with scammers in emergency situations that deprive me of emergency assistance. Getting robbed, guns pulled on me, attacks, thefts, and deprive me of assistance now to get out of a crisis, forcing me to speak with scammers in a domestic violence crisis that involves the government. 
that deprive me of all services, knowledge, and assistance, and um, legal representation. Since I'm calling the scammers, they force me into not get assistance with um, legal representation. And then railroad me to speak with two controlled uh, environments that then later deprive me of services. In some kind of way, I've called for years. I've been on the phone 35 minutes this morning, and then I've called for years, and it has just, it's impossible to get people to not commit crimes. It just cannot be done, period, for years. So our, what are the resolutions? And then, then no one seems to be, you know, bothered. Maybe that's why it keeps going on. Representative to representative is not astonished. Customer service skills are very poor with the chaos I've experienced at every location, every provider that I go to. Maybe that's a red flag and the problem. Do you have any resolutions for crimes being put, um, crimes on your network that put your other car, uh, customers at risk? Are you going to enforce it? Can you just with me, ma'am? Bear with you. I've been bear with you guys for years, as well as all my other providers that called the police if they weren't already there waiting. And then when they incriminated themselves, then they had the providers commit the crimes for them and make them take the fall for their own crimes. And since it was the government committing the crimes, they just say, call us to enforce the criminal activity. When you get backed in the corner to give this woman legal services that she pays for, you just call us and we'll come out and enforce these crimes on your network. And they do it. Yeah, and I thank you so much for patience, KSA, and the line. And, you know, I understand where you're coming from. Ma'am, what is the resolution, ma'am? I've been waiting yeah. years, ma'am. What is the resolution to the crimes I just reported to you? Because I have called years and all people did was con and play games and only pr try to pretend that they were even um, the real people that I was calling. So what are what is the resolution to all the crimes I reported to you? Because there hasn't been any for years. Okay, I, I just want to ask, um, Kiana, this um this the issue is because of your network, am I correct? So I've reported these the crimes your on the network, network and you it's just impossible to get a resolution. It's almost forty minutes. Crimes are hacked, your network is hacked, and I'm forced to speak with scammers crimes on your network your employees have been enticed into criminal activity mm -hmm. and call police to enforce crimes so i just want to ask um how about your um your service right now i still um can you able to use your service or network or you can are you trying to, to deflect involved? and cover for the crimes yeah. on the network ma'am as you've done years what is the resolution to me being defrauded out of funds and forced to speak with scammers? I told you my life was in jeopardy as I've informed everyone. Right now, they have blacklisted me from uh, having housing and assistance. And then I call over the United States, forced to speak with these scammers that deprive me of knowledge, information, and services. As I reported this year, are you enforcing that I continue to speak with these scammers? Could enforce crimes that are going on and with your network that put your other customers at risk? Scammers that have already defrauded me out of funds and tried to abate $30,000 in paid child support payments until I uploaded it on my YouTube channel. Then they said, I mean, the good judge had already sent me information saying that it would go, um, my, um, the amount that the dad owed would go from a, uh, my payments would go from a rearage. These scammers tried to abate almost $30,000 in the child support that was the dad owed until I uploaded it. They have already committed other crimes with ch other paid child support payments, which is embezzlement. So a, ma a majority of people have lost their ever-loving mind with no consequences, ma'am. Are you going to continue to enforce those crimes on your network? No, I'm um, actually... Uh, okay, yeah, what's the resolution, ma'am? What's the resolution? Okay. I've been waiting years. What are you going to do? Yeah, just Miss Bird may just need... Bear, bear with you? You said bear with you multiple like times. I, I keep bearing with you years.
So I'm trying. Okay, now it let me. I was trying to show you the number that I called 611. So what I was saying, if you really know me, for me to be isolated and not get calls is really unusual for me. I have never had this experience my whole life. My aunt, she was, a, you know, a person that always had calls, always on the phone. She elderly, you know, and it, you know, repetitive calls. Whenever I was over there, it was so many calls, it would kind of get on my nerves. So I was, sometimes I would be forced to answer the phone because she was busy. And then it would be repetitive calls. I was very grateful that she had that much attention. But it was I was forced to be a secretary. Not that it really bothered me, but it's just, that's just how many calls it was to where, you know, it would be kind of nerve wracking, but I was very grateful. Like I said, that people enjoyed her company and were checking on her. That was very positive. And then her behavior was very odd when I stayed with her. People in my environment are forced to be abusers as well, which is just really unrealistic. So she did something. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you what she did. She pulled a sword on me. She had did something that she had stole something from me. And then when she stole it from me, and well, that's not like her. Then when she stole it, I was trying to help her. And then she, I gave her a card where she can get funds. And then she stole a great deal of funds from me. Then when she stole the funds, she pulled a sword on me. I informed my son and he covered for it and bullied me. I had no clue. She told me about shoulder pictures of the stalker. She said that you don't need to talk to him. I thought she was just hating, you know. I thought she was hating, but she already knew what some, this stalker or something was wrong with him. I just showed her pictures. This is when it was first spanking brand new. And I showed her pictures. I said he was rich and, you know, great looking guy. She said, you don't need to talk to him. She flat out said it. And I was just amazed, you know. What do you know about it? I thought she was jealous. So anyway, you know, I disregarded it. You know nothing about him. He's rich and great looking. You're just jealous. That's what I thought in my mind. And then her behavior was just really odd. This is the one that let it slip that my kids went up there to get a TV. And she said she wanted some items since they were put out on the street. And they wouldn't get her anything. They just went to go pick up, pick up this TV and it upset her. Because if they were all my items were all. But see, my kids wouldn't come buy me out of jail with my own money. I called around and they wouldn't get me out. And they stated that um, the only way I can bond out if someone else did it. They sabotaged my bail bond openly. And they did all kind of other things that you wouldn't believe. So anyway, she was upset because they wouldn't give her any of my property that they put out on the street in this false arrest. So my kids wouldn't bond me out. So she pulled the sword on me and my son covered for it for something that she stole from me, which is out of her character. Hello? Yes, hello. I'm still here again. I just... Um... Bear with you more. Okay. So I'm Kiana. Yeah. So Kiana hears us on the no. Um, you just need, you will going to be receive the um, call from the uh, technical department, from tech team um, to discuss about your. Um, They've been saying that they were going to call me back so years, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. I'm not, haven't been heard years. Your customer service, that there's a problem with the hotspot you didn't address. I don't understand why it's impossible to report crimes on your network. Put that put your other customers at risk. You haven't given me any resolution to the crime that has happened on your network for years. Any manner of getting law enforcement involved, any kind of investigation, as you have not done years. I, my life is in jeopardy, ma'am. My life is in jeopardy. I need to immediately make my calls today because I've been deprived of that for years. You have defrauded me out of funds. Yes, all right. Um, I understand that, Kiana, but you don't have to worry, you know, because you know, I wouldn't mean I don't have to worry. Um, it's went on years, ma'am. Yeah. I'm not being heard. What do you mean yeah, I don't I have to worry? This is went on years, and you're still covering for it, it's, being rude, as you've done years. Why don't? Why are you refusing to call law enforcement or call some kind of agency and let them know that my phone was hacked? I tried to get a history of my calls. And that was deprived of that, that no one has a right to deprive me of calls to cover for crimes. I wanted a printout. I was willing to pay for the history of calls because so many people said that they called me and I wasn't getting them. And then I was deprived of the right to even get a call history. These are extreme events that my provider is okay. depriving me out of services that other customers are able to get. All right, so I'm Kiana. So you need to report the, your, the crimes. Oh, I, you need to report these representatives yeah, committing yeah, these yeah, crimes. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. And you know, um, Kiana, we will allow you to visit any of uh, uh, other Metro by T-Mobile store. So they keep calling know, the police um, to enforce the crimes, yeah, ma'am. Mom, I'm not being heard, ma'am. They keep calling the police and the police come in their criminal activity and give me criminal trespasses because they want to enforce extreme criminal activity that shows the government is mentally ill and um, disturbed. To think that you concoct a scheme to where I make calls to counterfeits that have already defrauded me out of funds, enforce my providers, conspire with their crimes that put other customers at risk shows that the government is having a mental breakdown with no consequences. All right, so let's assure you, Kiana, that, you know, you were going to be received a uh, call from They said this department. year's, ma'am, so, so calling um, customer service, but I'm on the line for 45 minutes and nothing has been resolved as it has not been resolved years. I can't get my calls, ma'am. I'm not being yeah, heard. I, all right, so I just want to ask um, uh, Kiana, so uh, whenever... Are you refusing to, to do uh, your job, ma'am, yeah, as you've done years? Are you refusing to do your job? You have not done anything to correct the issue with the hotspot. Yeah, you have not you know, emailed uh, the, any law enforcement or any kind of investigation ask. unit mm -hmm. for crimes being committed on your network. You haven't given me, what do I do when the network is hacked? Yes, we already... Uh, what do I do? What do I do to report the crime that my provider covers for? What do I do when there's a, a criminal activity on your network? What's supposed to happen when crimes are happening on your network? Do you cover for them? Actually, we are filing an investigation for that. So you're filing an investigation for the crimes okay. going on in your network? Yes. Okay, what's the ticket number? What's the ticket number, ma'am? The ticket number? The ticket number, ma'am? Hold on for a second, ma'am. You, you didn't know that you needed one? Okay, ma'am. There with you? Okay. It's sick. It is sick as it was years before COVID. It just allowed this much insanity just lie allowed year after year. It is sick. They have a great alibi. No one would ever believe it if it wasn't recorded. Um, hello, Kiana. Kiana just want to ask, so is this happening with both lines? I don't know. I'm not allowed to speak to my daughter out of corruption. I have no clue what's going on. I pay the phone bill and still don't have access to her. Mm -hmm. Can't speak to her, so I don't know what's going on. The government covers for her abuse and then enforces that I speak to scammers that also cover for it. Yeah, because, you know, in here in my end, Kiana... You, you, I asked you for the line, ticket yeah. number. You put me on hold for the ticket number. It's like you're covering for crimes again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Okay. We're deflecting. Okay, so you need my address to verify what location? Yes, please, uh, okay. Already. So I it's need to repeat to it again, even one. though it's on my account. This is a pattern, ma'am. So even though it's on my account, you need me to repeat the address again. You should have been verifying the address, ma'am. I'm concerned about your customer service skills. But instead, you need. I went over my address, and you said I was talking too fast, and now you need me to repeat it again? Okay, ma'am, I'll repeat it again. This has went on years, ma'am. It's like a form of harassment that people would not even know existed. But if you go through it years, you kind of pick up on things. So I will repeat the address that's already on my count again. Okay, now that I went through it slow, you want me to spell it and it's on my account? You know, Do you have a problem with just looking at the address that's on my account? But I can spell it. Right, I went through it slow so and now you want me to yeah, spell it. Can I have your... All right, ma'am, so can I have your eight-digit pin on your account so that it can fall off? Uh... I was giving you the pin and you interrupted me giving you the pin, ma'am. I don't understand how I can give you the pin yeah, if you interrupted ahead. me. You asked me for the pin, and then when I gave it to you, you interrupted me and said, can I have the pin? This happens call to call, ma'am, for years. They ask me questions, and then when I answer it, they interrupt me with asking the same question that I was answering. This could be like a form of harassment and abuse. So if you let me speak, I can give you the pen that you asked for, Apologize. but that's rude for you to interrupt me answering your question with asking me the same question that I was answering. Okay, we can try this again. I had to go over a pen. 
for you to get access to the account. You sent me out a text with had which had a pen in it that I had to go over. Then you could have you had my address. Maybe me, re- me repeat it multiple times saying I was speaking too fast. Then when I repeated it slow, then you said um, you needed me to spell it. Then you needed another password for an address that was already on okay, file. Because Kiana, you because didn't have Kiana, to update the address, uh, ma'am. I've called multiple times address. with these cons, and they did have the address. I don't understand why so many glitches with addresses that should have been on file. And then these excuses for insane activity. So you have the address. So do you need me to repeat it again? And then so you're, what is the explanation for me answering your questions? And you're rude and interrupting me answering your questions. As a multitude of parties have done years. Sure, ma'am. Yeah, I asked you that um, in order for me to update the You didn't need to update the address, ma'am. I'm not being heard. I'm not being heard. Who removed the address? Who removed it? All these technical glitches years, ma'am, I don't understand. Just like when I was in a car accident, when the man got caught in lies and hung up on the adjuster, then they lost my address for that. It was finally evidence of these gang stalkers and how dangerous this is. But some kind of way my insurance company covered for it and lost my address too, as well as the um, Department of Public Safety. A tampering with mail is a felony crime and then enticing people to lose my address on purpose to cover for crimes is not excusable. Calm down and relax, okay? Ma'am, calm down and relax. I don't know why I get gaslighted and so many parties cover for crimes, ma'am, everywhere I go. Yeah, that's why I'm going to file a ticket for you for the investigation so that, you know, the engineering will work for you. And, uh, they filed a ticket for years, ma'am, and it hasn't yeah. happened. They keep calling the police to enforce insane criminal activity. But I've asked you for a ticket for a long time and you've been deflecting and playing games, as they've done years, ma'am. This has been almost an hour. And then after I spend all this time, I never get the call from technical support or investigation. That's why I'm forced to speak with these scammers, ma'am, which happens to be criminal. You can't choose to hack someone's phone network to fraud them out of funds just because you're the government to get away with your criminal activity. For you, Diana? What's the question, ma'am? All right. So you mentioned that um, you are uh, having a trouble with your phone, am I correct, for a long time? Right. And I just want to ask, so what kind of an error is, is it with all your network, right, like your um, calls, text message, and how about the data? Because they need to know more so that oh, you can find oh, man. Oh, 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 man, oh. It shuts off on a whim, the data, the texts have shut off on a whim, and the phone service. The phone service used to cut off in emergencies, depriving me. The data would shut off when I needed it most, when I was doing searches, trying to do applications and different things. The data would shut off. My texts would shut off when I was talking to my daughter and different things that were critical to me. The data would shut off. I mean, the texts would shut off too. So they, the government okay, has already, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm answering your question. The government has already deprived me of my right to speak with my daughter. And then when I speak with her anyway, every blue moon, the text would shut off. So I would be deprived of the right to speak with her in schemes that stopped. When I did uploaded a video at Salvation Army reporting the massive amount of criminal activity surrounding my phone service. Then they just controlled it behind the scenes that weren't so obvious. Ma'am, are you taunting me? Are you there, ma'am? Yes, I'm still here. I'm filing a ticket right now, ma'am. So just please bear with me, okay? Okay, ma'am. I'm here to help you, ma'am. I'm here to assist you. Well, it seems like you're taunting me by playing games with this ticket number and playing games on, you know, depriving me of assistance to escape this extreme amount of criminal activity surrounded by your network. You haven't given me any resolutions on how to protect myself as they haven't done for years. And in fact, it's like you're covering for it as as all the parties I speak with have done. This is criminal, ma'am, as I've stated a multitude of times and to make resolutions impossible for years. 
which it has been, is is inexcusable. And then I just want to ask again, ma'am, Kiana, some questions, okay? Yeah, well, I mean, I've asked answer questions, answer questions for years. Perfect. I don't understand what is so difficult with rep- reporting crimes and has, as it has been impossible for years. Are you sure you're not covering for it? All right. All right, ma'am. Yeah, what is the resolution, so ma'am? You have you keep playing games. You My haven't given me any solution. Okay, well, why don't you have an education on how to report crimes I'm... going on with your network? How I can protect myself from being hacked? What any referrals on any law enforcement agencies that govern counterfeit networks and crimes going on with hacked networks and identity theft? No resolution has been provided for me for that for years, ma'am. You haven't done any of that. As it has not been done for years. You know, ma'am, okay, we've been on the, I've been, been on, I've invested no, almost an hour before. for multiple parties that have covered for the crimes as, as they have done years. What is the resolution that you're willing to provide me today instead of lying and saying someone's going to call me back that has not for years? For the hour that I have invested, Anna, what is the like, resolution? Yeah, so right now the resolution is to file a ticket. I'm filing okay, a ticket so right you now. haven't given me any education on how to report my protect myself from scammers. It's in fact, it's like you're covering for it. What are the avenues I can okay, take you when your like, network is? Kiana, if you would like, we can change your mobile number so that, you know, nobody I've done that for years. I just don't understand why people would deprive me of the right to be able to report crimes and investigate crimes that put their other customers at risk for years and get away with it. It's like you're covering for it, ma'am, and you don't want me to know how to protect myself and depriving me of education like every other scammer I've called for years. You can easily get away with it because no one would ever believe that this happens. You have to see it to believe it, ma'am. We can also, Kiana. Kiana, we can also um, add a feature for you for the scam black. And I'm not being heard, you ma'am. Someone is counterfeiting energy. calls on your network that your employees enforce and threaten the police to enforce the crimes that go on with your network. Scammers that had defrauded me out of funds. We are not getting a resolution to someone investigating the crimes that have been committed on your network for years. So it continues to go unaddressed. And I continue to get defrauded out of funds and service. Okay, so I just want to ask, so if this also happening with all incoming and outgoing calls? I'm, I'm like not being heard, ma'am. Show, what is a resolution? Call? We've already went over this multitude of times. You're deflecting again. What is a resolution to the crimes Kiana, being committed I'm on asking, your network? I'm asking you this. Kian, I'm asking you a series of questions in order for us. We've to already answered those. For you. So you need to cooperate with me. I you think you're deflecting cover for crimes, so ma'am. What? Hello, Kiana. All right. You need to cooperate with me in order for me to file a ticket for you for the investigation. But if you will not cooperate with me, so I'm going to rest. Are you, you gaslighting me because you're not doing your job, ma'am? I'm doing my job, but you are not cooperating with me. I'm asking you a series of questions, but you are not answering me in polite manners. So you're gaslighting me for reporting crimes on your network as you've done years. Would you like me to continue? I guess you're taking control of the call, ma'am, because I've invested like an hour, and I guess you're taking control of the call to enforce your crimes. What are the series of uh, answers? What are the series? I'm I'm asking you the question, ma'am. What are the series? You're doing it again, interrupting me, answering your question. What are the series of answers, uh, questions that you have, ma'am? I guess you're enforcing your crimes, controlling this call. No, I'm asking. I'm asking you some serious questions for me to be able to file a ticket. For well, you I'm asking, I'm saying, can you so ask the questions, ma'am? Now. I'm pressed for time. This has went on years. What are the questions? I am different from them, Kiana. I am different from them. Ma'am, from I'm pressed from from for them. time. What are the questions, ma'am? Before. What are the questions? Are you taunting me, ma'am? All right. All right. So now we will be going to continue, okay? What are the questions? So you're all having a trouble with... Yeah, so um, you are having a trouble with a um, voice receiving calls and text and message? Ma'am, we're deflecting of the crime, all of it, and someone is hacking your network, defrauding me out of funds and services. Someone is hacking your network, defrauding me of funds and services as they have done years. 
committing a crime on your network that your customer, your uh, representatives enforce and threaten the police and call them out to enforce crimes on your network. And forcing me to speak with scammers and my life is in jeopardy that deprived me of education and all assistance to escape the government's abuse. Putting your own customers at risk by letting government officials that happen to have access to scammers in their pocket. You're, you forgot that, as you have forgotten years. So, ma'am, had you listened to me and had good customer service, I wouldn't have to repetitively repeat myself as I've done years. And then you threaten to dis, uh, you know, control, take control of the call to enforce your bad customer service skills. Before I got, I was recognized, ma'am, before I got you terminated from this job out of Malice. They were going to give me an advancement on my customer service skills until someone concocted a scheme so I wouldn't work there. Okay, um, hello. All right, so I'm Kiana. This is the complaint ticket I already did. Oh, great for you, okay? So would you what like was the questions, ma'am? You forgot you had questions? You forgot you had questions, but okay, I'll write the ticket number. No, I already um, have your answer regarding, you know, receiving a call. You mentioned that you are having trouble with calls. I'm not being heard, ma'am, like I haven't for years. People cover for crimes, and they try to gaslight, they redirect, and cover for the fact that the network is hacked, putting their other customers at risk. They've already done this, ma'am. So when the con artists call me back, okay, yeah. they have a ticket that there was something wrong and I wasn't receiving my calls, so the hack network never gets resolved, the situation of crime going on with their network. They've already done this, ma'am. I'm not being heard. I'm reporting crimes okay. and conspiracy from a multitude of people that you, as well as everywhere I go, have covered for and enforced? Uh -huh. Okay, um, yeah, so I just want to ask, um, what is the mobile number that um, they can contact you? The, the same one that I've gave you multiple times okay. with doing all these passwords, deflecting, and right. wasting time. All righty. All right, I already got it. So the number that you're using right now, okay? Right. Okay, so um, um, they were going to contact you with this regarding for the service, okay? Oh, you'll provide compensation this time? That's never been offered for um, me being defrauded out of funds for after, years. After, once, yeah, after, once, once that, um, the engineering will going to work for it. So once we already had the resolution from the, um, engineering department, that's the time that we will going to be compensated for the service that you are having a trouble with. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, they will going to be contacted you with this number, 46966. Is there any so particular reason why you keep the, repeating the, that yeah. number over and over, ma'am? If we've already verified it, I don't understand why this happens on a multitude okay. of calls. That way people have excuses for um, uh, calling me repetitively and doing prank calls. You've confirmed that number multiple okay, times in a row. Your... Yes. What is that, ma'am? All right. So at 6617... That's it. 3817. And that's 6617. Yeah, it's 3817, okay? 6617-3817? Yes, yeah. Is there any, you didn't answer me why you kept repeating my number over and over, ma'am? And you had already verified it? As they've okay, done years? I already have it. I already have that. All I just wanted to know why you yeah, repetitively so, kept um, repeating my number in a row. No, I, I asked you because, you know, they were going to be contacted. Right, but you had already repetitively repeated it, so I didn't understand why you kept repeating the same number as a pattern. That way people have an excuse for call, prank calling me okay. as they've done years, ma'am. So I just wanted to know why you right. repetitively kept yeah. repeating my number. We haven't got a resolution on why you did that over and over in a row, as they do on a multitude of calls. Okay, so Kiana, we already have a resolution. And the, we don't have a resolution, ma'am, because they don't call me back, as they told me, as I told you, that I don't get my calls returned. Are they going to investigate it? And then um, what are the ways, avenues of law enforcement when I'm reporting crimes in your uh, staff as multiple conspirators and criminal activity? We haven't got a resolution on how that criminal activity yeah. can be reported and investigated, because these are crimes. That have been unaddressed for years. Okay, okay Kiana, now can I speak? Can I talk, Kiana? I will first, ma'am, you to can have you good customer service, speak? you would have had to let me speak to, to get a resolution on what I the complaint I was making. 
And then you said, can you speak? I was asking a question. And then you said, can you speak? Interrupting my question to okay, say, so can I'm you speak? Alright, so I'm really glad I for all the inconvenience that you are experiencing. We don't want you to experience you here. Yeah, Ma'am, I asked for resolutions. Yeah, as I've been deprived yeah. for years. There's crimes being committed on your network. Yeah. What or what? How do we get an investigation and criminal charges um, to these people that conspired with these crimes? What do we do to get these criminal yeah, charges? Are, are, are you not provided. appalled? Criminal charge crimes. I'm reporting crimes. I have called my cell phone provider as I have called years. How do I get people their charges, ma'am? These are crimes. How do I get the charges? Are you covering for the crimes, ma'am? Like I mentioned earlier, one six um issue with results, we were going to be compared I'm trying to see how I can report these crimes and get an investigation for this criminal activity so it doesn't go on any more any more years are you depriving me of the avenues that yes, I can take I'm to get these it. crimes reported and investigated um, Kiana regarding that issue you can able to go to the, to the store case so for me that, um, I want to know who investigates the crimes ma'am I'm not being heard for a heck phone network those crimes going on yeah. with your network who investigates that ma'am the, it's a crime that people can get charges for ma'am ma'am this these are crimes who do I report these crimes to so that you can get an investigation can be done people have defrauded me out of funds ma'am you can report it to the police officers Okay, only police officers, but you're you're refusing to investigate the crimes going on with your network. You refuse to do it, and you just refer me to the police department. Um, Kiana, I already told you that we already filed an investigation. Ma'am, I'm not being heard. You an investigation. So do you? When you file an investigation, you investigate the crimes, and then you pick up charges for the people that have hacked your own network and put your other customers at risk. Please, um, Are you? I don't want people to continue to take control of the cause to enforce crimes. I want a resolution because it's deprived me of me for years. Who is going to investigate the crimes going on with your network and parties that have defrauded me out of funds, including tried to uh, sabotage thirty thousand dollars in ch child support payments that were owed and back past uh, child support payments. Like I mentioned earlier, that's regarding for the network. Ma'am, who investigates the, the crime? Who investigates the crime, ma'am? Who do I report the crimes? The this mass the uh, multiple of conspirators the in the police, felony police. crime of hacking phone networks that who have defrauded me out of funds. Kiana, for the investigation for the criminal crime, we are not the one. It's with the police investigation. It's the responsibility. No, ma'am, you're not. We need to escalate to a supervisor. That is incorrect. You are responsible for crimes going on with your network, defrauding customers out of money who have paid you for a bill. Yeah, yeah. That is incorrect. You are responsible for that. You're responsible for crimes on your network. Yeah, and if I could sue you for, for allowing people to defraud me out of money, covering and enforcing it, this would be an extreme lawsuit. That is incorrect. The police department is not responsible for crimes going on on your network. You are. That's a blatant lie, ma'am. Like I mentioned earlier, that we are the one for a wheel and can investigate the issue regarding to the network. So I already provide to you the ticket, 6617 We haven't got a resolution on getting law enforcement today, ma'am, and you making sure that someone... Did... Awesome. And it's only... I'm sorry. I didn't survey. recognize that. On a scale Years. of 0 to 10, where Years. 10 is the highest, how likely are you to recommend Metro by... I'm sorry. I still didn't recognize that. I'm giving Let's her a zero. Using the touch...